key that I'm be doing the Q and A, answering 25 questions so y'all can get to know me a little bit since this is my first YouTube video. <laughs> Okay, I got 25 questions. And I have all them in my notes. I'm gonna just choose randomly. All right, let me see. I can start off with, um, what's my age? 16. I'm 16 years old. Yeah, turn 16 this year. Mm. So my favorite holiday is Adam. My favorite holiday is between my birthday and Christmas. I think, I think I like Christmas, but then again, my birthday because like, mm, I just be feeling real love. Everybody just telling me happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. You know, yeah. What is your biggest fear? Ooh. <laughs> My biggest fear is getting stabbed. I, I'm just scared of the pain. Like, I don't know what it's gonna feel like. But like, just imagine it like when people keep stabbing you over and over and you, and you feeling that pain, it's just like, mm mm. I don't want that happen. And I'm scared of getting kidnapped too, because baby. I don't know what I would do. All right. Mm. Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> you know, if you know me, then you already know the answer. It's Little Dirk. Little Dirk is my celebrity crush because, baby, he's, he's so good looking. So good looking. The dress, the eyes, the lips, the smile, the voice. That's my celebrity crush. Um, what made you want to start doing YouTube? Okay, so I really always wanted a YouTube channel, but baby, I was not confident enough. You know, right now, like, I'm just constantly feeling like I'm that girl, period. <laughs> But like right now, I was like, might as well do. I'm just, I'm getting older. Might as well start doing something with my life. Mm. And I be watching YouTube 24 seven. Like I be watching all these guys doing their little vlogs and stuff. And just, you know, I could be doing it too instead of laying in the bed all the time. Um, favorite food. My favorite food is cabbage, rice and cabbage. I like rice and cabbage, but I like um I like seafood too. I like any foods. But my favorite is cabbage. Like I can eat that all day. I can eat the whole pot by myself. Over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um what's your favorite what's your favorite color? My favorite color is probably orange. It's between orange and pink. I go back and forth with them colors, but it's, it's really orange right now at this moment. But it might be pink tomorrow, you know. And then, um, where are you from? Um, New Orleans. Most everybody know that. That I live in Monroe, where almost everybody knows me. But for the people that don't know me, I'm from New Orleans. My biggest pet peeve: smacking. I hate people smacking. Like that's one of my big. Ooh, cause you do not got to do all that while you chewing, while you eating. Like, mm mm, that just irks my nerves. Um. Which one I want to answer? What's your grade? I'm going to the 11th. And I'm going to have one more year in high school, period. 11th grade, junior year. Um, what is your most 
use words. The word I use all the time, I've been saying baby a lot, like even in my messages, uh, in person, I put baby in front of everything or behind everything. Like baby, you do not gotta do all that. Like calm down, like it's baby all the time. Um, what college I wanna go to? Me, I wanna go to either Southern University, but I don't know. I wanna go to LSU or but I don't know if I want to go somewhere in Louisiana because people just be ghetto. Or Dillard University. Since it's in New Orleans, I might go there too. Somebody had said I want you. I want to put that in the video because he knows exactly who he is. <laughs> hey. Um, my favorite subject in school my favorite subject it used to be math but sophomore year geometry got hard at the end of the school year and i was like mm -mm, baby i cannot do that but i did it i passed the class so that's what all that matters but in 10th grade year, like all my other years it was math 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 but 10th grade last year it was english i don't know why but i was really enjoying my english class with miss tucker or whatever <laughs> She's so funny. Mm. Somebody said, who is your bestie? The person that asked this was my best friend. I guess she wants y'all to know that she got a best friend. Even though I want to talk every day, you know. I got a lot of friends like that who I don't got to talk to every day and all, but I still be like this. But my bestie is Banaja Yvonne Carter, BB. That's my best friend since sixth grade. Um, this girl, she said, hey, babe, what's your hobby? And what's something you like to do on a daily basis? Hey, girl. Um, my hobby, I don't really have no hobbies, but I do want to, I want to get some, like, I wanted to start painting and stuff. Like, I just really enjoy doing it. I wanted to start painting, but I never got into it. Um, my hobby. I don't really, I don't got no hobbies right now. No, I don't got no hobbies for real. But being on my phone. What's something you like to do on the daily? She asked that too. On the daily? Okay, you know if I got my head done and stuff, I'm going to be taking pictures, making TikTok all day, and the camera all single day. Throwing on the little fit to get, to look cute and feel good. But you know if I'm just chill and stuff, I um, I be in bed twenty four seven. I like to go, I like to take naps all day, all day every day. I be taking naps. Ouch! All day every day I can really be taking naps. I be on TikTok, Instagram, Snap, not Snapchat like that no more. But TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, them little apps, and text my friends all day. Joking around with them 24 7. But on the daily, like for real, for real, on the daily, is go to sleep and take naps. I just love that little feeling. Mm. Somebody said, if you could change something about yourself, what would it be? Mm. I wouldn't really change nothing about myself because, baby, I love myself, you know. I like my nose, I like my lips, that's my favorite thing. I like my eyes, this one of my favorite things too. They look like little Chinese eyes. Um, I like my big forehead, it's bigger than this. I didn't usually like it, but you know, I, stopped, I really stopped caring. I like my little nose, I feel like I got a cute nose. I feel like I got a Sandy Lou nose from the side. Um, I like my little body, slim thick, you know. But I do want a little meat. I, I do want a little more meat back there. You know, a little more round. That's what I want. That's something I would change. But I change it by myself. You know, I'm not going to get no surgery or none of that because mm -mm, no BBLs around. But not me. I'm going to get it all natural. But I really, I answered the question, I guess. My butt. Um, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? I feel like 
okay in reality if i really want to move somewhere i'll move to houston texas atlanta one of them two cities i mean states because you know they big um they big um cities or whatever <laughs> they big cities i move somewhere to texas somewhere to atlanta i like busy areas because i like going out all the time i don't really like being inside i really like going out but I moved to, um, like, if I could really, really move here, I moved to Bora Bora on the island. I mean, on the water, living on the water. I would really move to Bora Bora. Hmm, I wonder who I'd take with me. I'd take, I'd take my little brother, Chief, and I'll take, I'll take, I'll take Jamarcus. That would be so fun. I'll take him. Yeah. I'll move to Bora Bora if I can. Live on Bora Bora. Um, somebody say, um, what do you want to be when you grow up and why? I already told a lot of people this, but some of y'all don't know me like that. So, I want to be a um, OBGYN. You know, I like babies. I want to birth. I want to birth kids. You know, I want to see them come into this world, this little ghetto world, or whatever. That's why. And you know, I already started getting into the nursing stuff with my CNA classes. So you know, I'm moving. I'm gonna be an OBGYN. If, if I don't feel like going to school for eight years for that, then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stop at the RN or. I go to school for like orthodontist, something with the dentist, like just something that make bands, you know, something that you could make money with. Um, somebody asked how many shoes you got. Honestly, I don't know how many exact pair I got. I probably got up to 15, 20 pair of tennis shoes. I got like 10 different pairs of Crocs, boo boo sandals, and I'm going to start adding to this collection. My bubble slides, I only got two right now. I'm going to add to that collection, you know. So I got a good amount of pair of shoes. I don't know if, um, exactly how much. And I'm building my collection with my dunks. Because I love dunks. So cute. It's some small and petite. Um, somebody asked, what's my relationship status? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm talking, talking to somebody. Been talking for the longest, but I ain't gonna say too much. Cause some people know, some people don't. But I'm talking to somebody. It ain't my man yet. Yeah, I'm talking. So I basically. I could talk to whoever I want right now, but you know, I don't be feeling like doing that for real. Because I really don't like talking to people. And we had like people really irks my nerves, but yeah, relationship status, talking to somebody. <laughs> um, how do you know how to put your out how do you know how to put outfits together? I was I feel like I always dressed good, like even when I was a kid, but I didn't dress myself, my mama did. And like going into high school, she dressed me for ninth grade year. But towards the end of ninth grade year, I was dressing myself, like putting stuff together for real. But I ain't never take pictures on Instagram or nothing like Cause you know, I wasn't really that confident. I really just, I, I just ain't feel the need to take pictures or whatever. But I feel like 10th grade year, Mm-hmm. Eating the girls look. Let me stop. But I put my outfits together, but it's like my mama do two for me because I always ask her opinion on it. Or like if she buy me clothes from Sheen, then she usually make the cart. And she'll tell me what go together. But when I make the cart, like, you know, she tell me like if it's cute or not. So she basically helped me with that. 
But like, if I'm at school and it's something chill, then I put it together. But if it's something, if it's something extra, baby, my mom put it together now. Um, stop by that. I put this in here too because he asked. It. He basically wanted me to answer. He said, "Would you f with me? No name." Um, I think I already told him this, but. I wouldn't because it's like we've been friends for so long since seventh grade. Like, just imagine it messing that up, you know? Like, we've been friends, friends for a long time, so I don't change that for real. Or oh, whatever. So, they're going to answer. Um, this is the last question. Question 25. Um,. Are you are you spoiled by your parents? This is not the last question, y'all. My bad. Are you spoiled by your parents? I feel like right now, at this moment, I'm not. But like, I am spoiled. But like right now, I just been chilling. It's like whatever I ask for, I get. Even if they say no, they might say no, and guess what? I'ma still end up getting it. I'ma still end up happy. But it's like my parents, they not strict or nothing, you know, cause they don't play around with us. They do not play around. We don't do what we want or whatever, but you know, I'm a good kid, so I get the things I want and I get the things I deserve. Cause I'm a very good child, you know? So it's like, yes, I'm spoiled, but right now, I don't think I'm spoiled. You know, even though I be looking real good or whatever. And look like they just buy me anything and everything I want. You know, they do. But. Yeah, I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled. And I don't like them. I don't like them like, um. Hurting my feelings. Like, whatever. I asked. It was like in 10th grade. I was going places every weekend. Because I had a little boot thing. And I was going somewhere every weekend, basically. And one weekend, they'll say, no. I'd be like, I'd be so mad, like, going to my room from the cry. Like, why are you telling me no? But, yeah. I'm going to say I'm spoiled. But not right now, because I'm getting older. So, I'm chilling. Okay, this is really the last question now. Um, she had asked, how are you mentally and physically? I feel like um, mentally I'm doing good because I don't be depressed and stressed enough about nothing, you know. I don't be depressed and stressed and depressed about anything. You know, I don't be sad in my room. I don't be doing none of that. You know, I just be to myself a lot of the time. I think because, um, like, this summer I was actually hanging out with my friends and stuff. And we don't go to the same school. So, it's like, when we see each other, it's always late, late, late. You know, they know who they are. Um, but it's like, I've been talking to them every day, too. You know, they keep my mind off stuff. And, yeah, I feel like I'm doing good, you know. I'm, it's getting better because I'm really, like, I used to care about what people think and stuff. But I don't even really be caring no more because, baby, y'all can't tell me nothing, okay? And physically, I feel like I'm doing good. My body, it's working or whatever, I guess. I don't know, physically, I'm healthy or whatever. Doing real good. I'm actually trying to gain just a tad bit weight back there, you know. But, like, I'm real hourglass. Even though I'm small, like, slim thick, I'm real, like, fine in real life, you know. So, <laughs> y'all see me in person, then you know I'm fine in real life. Not fake. So, yeah, that was the last question. My first video ever on YouTube. And if y'all want to know what time it is, it's actually 1.31 in the morning. 
went there one in the morning and I start school in two more days. Basically. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching my video. Subscribe to me, like, and comment. And yeah, thank y'all for watching.